Welcome back. This is an Alex training video on interconverting pressure and force. So, um, pressure has a definition. Pressure is force over an area. So if you have a big area that you're putting a force on, you have a low pressure. If you have a, a very small area that you're putting the force on, you have a high area. So stepping on the ground, you would have low pressure on your feet. Stepping on a nail that would have a very small surface area, and you have a lot of pressure on your feet, and it would be enough to puncture your foot. So we're asked to find force. So we're going to solve for force. So I'm going to multiply by A, and I'm going to get force equals pressure times area. The pressure they give us, okay, that says calculate the force of a piston and it's, it's closing down on a cylinder of gas. And so what is the force uh, required to push down that gas? Okay, well, I just need to know the area of the piston. What is this, the area of that circle that's, that's shoving down? And if I know the pressure, then the force has to be equal to that to that pressure uh, times that area. So the pressure is given 371 kilopascals. And then area. Well, the area is a circle. Okay, so if you remember the area of a circle, it's pi r squared. Uh, pi r squared. So um, area equals pi times the radius squared. Well, it says high, that I don't care how high it is, I'm only interested in the, in the piston, so it's 6.8 centimeters wide. Well, that's its diameter, so that would be 3.4, so it's going to be area equals pi times 3.4 squared. Okay, so if I find area, 3.4 squared times pi equals, okay, I've got an area of... 36.3168. Now you remember when you do calculators, in the middle it's no big deal. Just write out a bunch of numbers. I don't care how much. I just usually write three or four past the decimal. At the very end, you have to, to round everything based on the number of significant digits that you have. So in this case, you're given 371 is three significant digits, 6.8 is two significant digits, so you're going to have to round it to two significant digits at the end. All right? So now I have area. Area goes up here. So I'm going to have 36.3168 times 371. Okay. And I'm going to get, I'll bring that over here. Force is equal to 13473.53691 kilopascals times centimeter squared. We're almost done. We just have to now take kilopascals uh, times centimeter squares and turn it into newtons. Um, if you remember pressure from here, pressure equals force time uh, force over area, and um, force is newtons, and area is in centimeter squared. So if you have a newtons over centimeter squared, so let's do that, newtons over centimeter squared, then you will have 10,000 pascals, okay? Or you'll have, um, so that means, if I just keep going, Then I'm going to have 10 kilopascals over a tenth of a newton centimeter squared. Centimeter squares will cancel. Now I'm in newtons, and now I I'll have to divide by a thousand to get to kilonewtons. Okay, so. That's going to be one, 
three four seven three point five three six nine one divided by ten. Okay, that's going to give. One thirty four seven point three five six newtons and then divide by a thousand and you'll have kilonewtons. So you have force equals one point three. Now let's look and see how many significant figures we have. Six point eight is two, so I'm just gonna leave it at one point three kilonewtons. Okay, keep going.